Hello and welcome back to another Destiny 2 mod showcase. I'm Fatty Hacker, and today I believe I've stumbled upon the best PvE Titan build in the game by using the Heavy Handed mod. This mod reads, while charged with light, regain half of your melee energy when you use a charged melee ability, consuming one stack of charged with light. And for the secondary perk it reads, while surrounded by multiple enemies, defeating an enemy with a fusion rifle, shotgun, sidearm, or submachine gun adds ammo for the weapon to your reserves. The secondary perk activates by having another arc mod slotted in the same piece of gear. You can get this mod from the Tangled Shore Obelisk once you've ranked it up a couple times. Okay, so unlike other mods, the effect of this one is extremely clear in the description, and it does happen exactly as described. You get half your melee charge back if you get a melee final blow while charged with light. And for the arc perk, it adds exactly one to reserves for shotgun and fusion on kill as long as you're surrounded. So I wanted to take it a step further and see how much we can get out of it. On the Hunter, it's already extremely easy to get your melee back using Gambler's Dodge, so I figured it wouldn't be much use there. On the Warlock, there aren't any super strong melee builds either, and the builds that use Winter's Guile I don't think would really benefit from having a charged melee. On the Titan, however, there is a way to get your super in 25 seconds while also maintaining nearly infinite shotgun ammo. First thing you obviously need is the Heavy Handed Perk with at least one other Arc Perk on. Next, you need the Taking Charge mod on another piece of gear, which charges you with light on orb pickup. On your class item, you will want to run Invigoration to reduce melee cooldown on orb pickup, and Hands On to gain bonus super energy on melee kills. Then, as many strength mods as you can fit, in my case, I was able to hit a tier 8 of strength. You're going to want to make sure you're running Breach Resonator on your chest piece as well, which is one of the seasonal mods on the artifact that generates melee and grenade energy on kills with weapons using Anti-Barrier. Lastly, and most important, you want to be running Doomfang Pauldrons for their perk that melee kills generate super energy. We're using Top Tree Sentinel because it has Ward of Dawn, and also the perk Defensive Strike, which grants an overshield on melee kills and grants melee energy for kills while the overshield is active. The flow of the build is as follows. Kill two enemies with a Masterwork Shotgun. This will generate an Orb of Light. Pick it up to become charged with light. Melee an enemy. You will get half of your melee charge back from the Heavy Handed perk kill two more enemies with the shotgun. Both will give a great amount of melee energy because the defensive strike perk will be active, and you will be really close to another melee. Then you'll need to pick up that orb for two reasons. One, to become charged with light, and second, to finish charging off your melee from the invigorate perk on your class armor. Then you can melee another enemy and just repeat the cycle. The melee is charging so much of your super each time because of the doomfang pauldrons in combination with the hands-on class armor ability. You are able to keep your shotgun ammo full from the secondary arc perk being activated from the heavy handed mod. The only gap in this is if you've killed everything and you're no longer surrounded by enemies, you will run out of shotgun ammo. This is why we're running the breach resonator, so we can quickly swap to a primary with anti-barrier rounds and charge our melee back up that way. In this case, I'm using Randy's throwing knife and you can see it gets the job done very well. And that wraps it up for today's video. If you found this helpful and want to see more Destiny 2 mod videos in the future, make sure to subscribe.